very important about the trencher bank is everybody's worried about mud being stuck in it. It's, a, it's only four inches deep, guys. It has nothing to do with getting the dirt out of the ditch. You can also scoop dirt like this. Put it in there, look at that. Look at the bucket of dirt there. You just gotta realize this, this, that's six foot tall. It's a lot of dirt, really fast. I like to dig and flip at me. That gets rid of all my cycle time and everything I'm doing with it. So you can just see I'm running about a, I don't know, 20 feet, 25 foot here. Just throwing dirt up to me and out. So you can see with the dirt in the bucket, it's irrelevant. We're using the sides of the ditch for the sides of our bucket. Look at that come out of there. Just nothing to it. take you down and show you how smooth and perfect this grade is. Look at the bottom of that ditch. Trencher can't even match that in any way possible. That's the bucket. That's the system. you could ever dig. This will stick on anything and it's peat moss quicksand. This, this banks have been standing for 15 minutes now and it's just impressive. It kind of grades it, it kind of pressurizes it, it kind of kind of packs the dirt so it holds up. Let's walk out and take a look at this thing. Oh, what a day. It's about 22 degrees outside and we're digging in a trench and there you go again. You see a little spoil fall down, but it is perfect ditch digging. I guess in the last, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes, about 65 feet.